Good evening, I'm Barbara Brozier. The Monroe County Health Department will use $85,000 in grant money to help expand its syringe exchange program. The department plans to buy a minivan to help with outreach in the community. About half the money will also go toward updating the Indiana Recovery Alliance's mobile outreach van. The IRA operates Monroe County Syringe Exchange Program on behalf of the Health Department. Cummins will invest $33 million in its Columbus plant to build a new electric powertrain. The company announced its plans for growth at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway yesterday. We will launch our first Cummins designed, Cummins produced, fully electrified powertrain in a city bus. Cummins also plans to build a new facility in Greenwood and expand it in Indianapolis. The new $35 million building will expand the manufacturer's footprint along Interstate 65. Tamara Lowenthal is the new executive director of the Lotus Arts and Education Foundation. She started working for the organization as a volunteer coordinator before taking a full-time position last year. She says she plans to make incremental changes to the organization, which includes reaching out to more young people. We want to try to see if we can create a Lotus Club on campus. Amazingly enough, we haven't had a support club uh, support, supporting the activities of Lotus at IU. The Board of Directors appointed Lowenthal to her new position earlier this week. Now let's take a look at your weather. Tonight we have a low of 65 degrees, mostly clear skies. It could be a hot one tomorrow, folks, with the high of 87 degrees, sunny skies. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. More news, WTIUnews.org. Have a great night.